Hi guys, it's me Sonia and I'm back with another process, actually a uh, wrap up of my, um, of the devotional from By the Well for God in the groove. And I just wanted to give you guys um, a look at what I did and how it came out and how I adore how it came out. And it was a good study. I loved it. And you can see I went wild crazy on it. <laughs> So I'm just going to flip through it and you guys can take a look what I did. Um, this right here is a patch like for jeans that I had for a long time and I bought it at Walmart. And I did my own flowers with a stamp that came from Dollar Tree. And I used the the background here the background paper is jeans is you know mimicking jeans so um that's what i did my cover with and these i also got at the dollar tree they are um some beads sticker beads there's there's this whole strip is connected and i have those in every color so that's what i use on the front cover now the first one is um, Groovy Grace and I did this one but I didn't realize that um, the stickers was going to not come out clear because of the background paper that I chose. So that was something that, you know, I just had to learn how to work it. And um, then these are the verses that were mentioned on that day first and I used one of the stickers from the girls and some more of my flowers that I made and more of the jean paper I got this a long time ago probably from Big Lots when they used to have scrapbooking in Big Lots that's probably where I got it from now this second day talks about fruits of the spirit and I had a stamp that came from by the well for God from <clears throat> I believe it was last year's one of their devotionals and it came with some stamps with all the fruits and that's what I did and they all have their little titles like love um, joy self-control kindness peace um, patience um, and faithful faithfulness faithfulness yes that's what it says so that's that page and then I use one of the girls and I popped it up and phone and you can see all the dimension of um on the I'm sorry on the page okay now the next one's day three and here I use um some more of the the sticker ones that I made um And I went through the questions and I answered them here. And that was um, day three. Um, day four, I wanted to do a little bit of mixed media, which I did. Um, and I put a little prayer. And there is... Um, more of that over here and what i did was um i made circles different types of circles with things that i had over in here in my um my desk here and then i used that stamp on it to just to you know attract interest and i did i watercolored each one and then i used some of the vicky Newton um glitter paste on there and then I put this sticker here in a praying um, tag. I'm not sure where I got it from, but it was in my stuff, my my um, bin of all the stuff that I have. And I also use this um, little tag here that's a cross. I got those from, um, I got these in, oh, what's that store called? Oh, my, my, my. Let me see. Let me see. It's not Joanne's and it's not Michael's. It's the other one. If it comes to my Hobby Lobby, that's where I got it from. 
The next one, um, it talks of being a quit to yourself with the Bible. That's what I called it. And here's some more of my flowers that I made. And um, this stamp set right here also came from By the Well for God. So, um, yeah, that's where that came from. Then the next page here, um, which is, I believe, day six, I combined it. This is, I'm thinking this is the back. Yeah, I think this is the answer, answer on this back part because I wanted to put her here. And the background is watercolored. I've splat some, um, um, not watercolored. It's, um, uh, oxen dispressed. I think it was, let me see which one is. The blue one. And it's called Salty o Ocean. Um, Distressed Oxide. And it's called Salty Ocean. Yes, that's one of my favorites. I use that one a lot. And then I put some water splatters over it and I dried it. And this is how it looks. I love it. And then I added some of these journaling cards from um, Packet Pocket Life that I get on my scrapbooking kit that comes every month from Hip Hip uh, Hip Kit. Yeah, the Hip Kit Club. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, and I also had these from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're little Bibles. Well, you know they look like little Bibles, but it's a book. And then right here um, on this one, which is day six, um, talks about having a prayer journal. So I found this on my stash, and I made my own with a little bit of, you know, a little bit of yarn that I, I added to it, make it look like I made the book. So here's that piece, the ski, and I... This is the psalm, was the verse, um, Psalm 18.6. Now moving on to day seven, I got, my heart is with my creator. And most of all this stuff is from my stash. This banners here were also in the Hip Kit Club. Um, Hip Kit Club, um, what do you call it? Um, yeah, package that I got probably about uh, a couple months ago. Now, day eight, which it looks like I have to retape it. This is like coming off. Yeah, I put it on the side because I obviously. Now, these tags I made myself with watercolors, and I cut them out. I have a bunch of them made already, pre-made. And the good thing about this, um, this one was that I fussy cut her outfit out of a pattern paper. And I had lots of fun with that. I got that idea from um, Scrappy Wife. So, yeah, and then I put, I have a stamp that has all these words on it. And it's from, I'm not mistaken, it's right here. It's from Concord and Night. And it brings, um, like I said, it brings these big words that um, you can use. So I like this one. It's one of my favorite ones. So moving on to day nine. And day nine, it's, um, Deny yourself to find your life. And what I did was, this is one of my clear stickers, but I didn't take off the backing, so I used it as, as it is. And the little disc and more of my flowers that I made. I am loving these flowers. They, they were perfectly matched for this kit. Uh, and the papers from my stash. I know, this one I love. This is like one of my favorite ones here. It's day 10. And it talks about planting the seed. 
that will make, make it grow. So I put this, this is from my Hip Tip Club. And I put this sticker here with all the flowers. Make it seem like, you know, <clears throat> it was a garden that they came out of. And I got these um, cloud, I have a cloud um, thing that I bought at um, Tuesday morning. So I made use of it. And they also have a little bit of texture because I did use the um, uh, a stencil on it first with modeling paste. That's day 10. <clears throat> and then the back is um, one of my prayers for my, and one of the, I mean the verse, the verse and my prayers in the front. That's what it is. Okay, day 11, it's um, good vibes, like um, true services, like true services. I think that's what I said. I should have highlighted it. Anyways, um, more of my flowers. I put that peace sign on top of the, uh, the, the ephemera that came with the kit. And <clears throat> the back is the, <clears throat> the verse. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the back is the verse. And some more hearts that came from the printables. Day 12, um, I acknowledge my sins. And the verse is 1 John. And what I did here is this is part of the ephemeral packaging. I just cut it. It was already cut like that. I just had to, you know, move it around just to um, get it in the right place and I used some more of the die cuts and then I put I confess and then in the back I got you know my own prayer and stuff day 13 um more of the pocket life cards um that I used here um some more stickers one of the washies that came with the kit the title came with the um, with the printables and more flowers that I put on um, the clear sticker paper and two more of the ones I made and this one is in Matthews 410 that's the verse I used so I journaled in the back and then I just wanted to put all the mostly all the things that I was left over so I just started putting everything on that page. <laughs> Day 14, which is the last one, um, it's a celebration to celebrate joy. So I had um, this piece right here was on a Project Life card, just the flowers, so I fussy cut it, used two more of my flowers, and I had one heart left, and I used it in the groove sticker this sticker goes it's on top of every um ephemera stick clear sticker ephemera that came that's where i got those and i put in on each of the pages that i did and then on the back it just keeps going and then it says in the groove and i put peace and joy and then i have a little thank you thank you to my lord and that is it. That is how I did my mini book. I love the idea and I'm definitely going to keep doing it because my Bible is very full right now. So this is a, a clear idea of what I want to be doing. So um, I hope this inspires you to go ahead and think out of the box and make your own um, mini journal um with the devotional so um i will see you guys in my next video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet hit the bell button so you can get notifications of when my videos are up and i will see you guys next time bye bye god bless